write the converse, inverse, and contrapositive of the statement, if you live in Frederick, then you live in Maryland. The converse, inverse, and contrapositive are the three variations we can make by switching pieces around in this conditional statement. So this original conditional statement we could write as P implies Q, where P is you live in Frederick, Q is you live in Maryland. If P, then Q. The converse switches the direction of the arrow and says if Q, then P. So in words, that would look like if you live in Maryland, then you live in Frederick. which is not a valid statement. As we saw in the last example, the converse is not logically equivalent to the original statement. The inverse keeps the arrow in the same direction, but negates both P and Q, negates both pieces. That's the inverse. So if you don't live in Frederick, then you don't live in Maryland. And of course that is also not equivalent to the original statement. But notice that the converse and the inverse are equivalent to each other. The contrapositive, the last variation, is the one that's equivalent to the original conditional where you reverse the arrow and negate both pieces. So that would be not Q implies not P. Therefore you'd write, if you don't live in Maryland, then you don't live in Frederick. And of course, if we're thinking of Frederick, Maryland, as being the Frederick we're talking about, the original statement and the contrapositive are both true. But the converse and the inverse certainly aren't, because you could live elsewhere in Maryland other than in Frederick. And that's what the converse and inverse um, both say.